The following review is going to be on Transformers Legacy Evolution Prime Universe Dreadwing. Stay tuned. <laughs> Adam Spill here, and today we're going to do a review on the Transformers Legacy Evolution Leader Class Prime Universe Dreadwing. <clears throat> now, this guy's been out for a little year, but I just picked him up at my local Target. They're having a sale right now. Uh, leader classes are scanning either $34.99 or $24.49. That's why for $25, I couldn't pass this guy up. <clears throat> First, we'll look at the side. We have Jet Mode and Robot Mode. It says Prime Universe Dreadwing, Transformers Generations. It is the Legacy Evolution, so we have the QR code. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. <clears throat> there is the Evolution Packaging. Uh, Prime Universe Dreadwing, 29 steps, <clears throat> steps from Robot to Jet. And his Evo Fusion is his big weapon. Whatever that is. And there is the UPC. <clears throat> so, let's open them up. And take him out. Now, noticed he is packed in, packaged in jet mode, so that is how I'll start my review. I always start as they are packaged. That way, when you first get it, it's like, oh crap, I'm stuck. Well, come to my video and I'll show you how. All right, first we'll take a look at the instruction booklet. And it's a big one, too. There's only 29 steps, but look at this thing. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> all right, so first to get them into jet mode, you flip the wings up, <clears throat> landing gear down, you can put the big weapon on the top, and also you can take needle nose and attach needle nose to them, which I have, so we'll be doing that later, <clears throat> and there is the instructions, no wonder why they're so big, the instructions end here, and then what you can do is take the weapon, put him in there, take the other weapon, <clears throat> you put this in his hand, I don't know, we'll figure it out, and then also, over here, I don't know what this is, so this is, you got the sword and the weapon, <clears throat> and over here, you put that in the arm, you flip up an arm, over, I don't know, it's got to do something with the shoulder pad, but, you know what, we'll figure that out later. But, like I said, half, no wonder why it was so big. Half of it is being wasted. Alright, <clears throat> now, <clears throat> let's get these out. <clears throat> Alright, here's that red weapon, and I believe it <clears throat> folds up. I'm not sure how, though. Uh, we'll figure it out later. <clears throat> it's clear plastic red. And then the other one, <clears throat> we'll just, <clears throat> is this thing. <clears throat> and they tell you, let's, let's figure out the weapons now. All right, so <clears throat> let's go back to the instruction booklets. <clears throat> it tells you to put, this goes in here. Like, there you go. <clears throat> that goes in there like that, I guess. And then here's a little 5 millimeter. There we go, our 5 millimeter port. So he can handle it. <clears throat> he can hold one handle here and hold one handle here. And then <clears throat> the... Ah. Uh, wasting time. <clears throat> uh, you know what? We'll figure it out later. Let's just unpack <clears throat> Dread Wing. I gotta start saying Dread Wing. I gotta get me a bigger. Can't find my razor, so my sharp razor. So we'll just cut these with a scissor. <clears throat> and let's see. Is that it? Yep. All right. So <clears throat> here. Ooh. <clears throat> <clears throat> we have a little piece of wing fell off. <clears throat> oh, I see where it was. <clears throat> it goes right here. And then you just stick this in here, I guess. Alright, <clears throat> so there is Dreadwing. 
<laughs> and then basically the instructions say flip these up pretty good <laughs> and then you've got the three landing gears very rarely do they ever pack these in jet mode or alt mode i guess it all depends on this guy come back compacts pretty good so there is <clears throat> our jet dread wing all right <clears throat> And basically, let's just stick this in here, like that, and then, wait a minute, how to tell you to connect it? It goes on the bottom, there we go, we got a, the screw hole is the 5 millimeter port, so there is the weapons placement, and there is your dread wing. So, uh, <clears throat> pretty cool. Let's see, we got the cockpit that opens up. Oh, cool, we got two seats. That's pretty neat. <clears throat> we got two seats right there. Uh, we got gold, mostly blue, the gunmetal gray. A lot of detail on the landing wheel. I kind of wish that wheel was movable. You got the silver, you got dark blue, you got the bright blue. You got silver or gray, you got more of that clear red. You got silver in the back. <clears throat> You've got that Prime Decepticon logo, which is pretty cool. Yeah, darker, almost purple here. You got three thrusters in the back. In the back, well, it's going to be what it is. Uh, let's see. You got blue. You got silver here. Boy, this guy looks like he's been through. A uh, I wonder if that came from the package like that. Hmm. Just a lot of little scratches. <clears throat> Here's the bottom of it, and you got the two of the wheels here. Kind of wish they would have made the wheels move. I mean, these are a leader class. You're paying $55.99 normally for um, a, a jet like this. And I know they have come down in size, but like I said, hey, <clears throat> as of this recording, it is end of May 2024, and Target's got these bad boys for $24.49 or $34.99. Depends on your target. All right, so we got the we got wings here, we got wings there, we got wing we got wings everywhere. We got two back wings, two back fins, two fins here, two wings, two smaller wings there. Like I said, uh, not bad. I mean, I've seen worse under jet, you know, formers. But um, all right, now we're gonna do some vehicle mode comparisons, and then we'll transform this guy. Let's put him back over there. All right, now for some vehicle comparisons, we're going to bring in Cyclonus first. Now, this is Kingdom Cyclonus. He's a Voyager, and this is a leader class. Now, Cyclonus looks like he's longer, but Cyclonus is more flat, and um, he just folds up, and um, the other guy's different. He's more bulkier. Then we're going to bring in our Prime Bulkhead. So that's a Voyager compared to a Leader, which I'll buy that. And then we've got our Leader class Snarl against the Leader class Dreadwing. Now Snarl is a bad, he's a big guy. So he's a real true Leader. And, and this is a Leader too. I'll give him the height difference on it. Uh, this is a deluxe needle nose. Now, I want to show you here. Now, you see he's got little ports back here. A needle nose has ports here. So, you can combine the two figures. Supposedly. There you go. <clears throat> That's supposedly some kind of gimmick that, whoops, this is some kind of gimmick that the old ones had. There it is. You just got to get those two lined up, and uh, he holds pretty good. So that is the gimmick with the combining the two. And then you just fold these back up. And then last, we're going to bring in our leader class, Triple Changer Sandstorm. So, both leader classes, obviously, and um, yeah, I'd say Sandstorm, you got to realize the triple changer, so he's got more complexity than this guy. 
this guy's got the big plastic pieces and this guy's got the complexity and yet in robot mode you saw how much smaller he was so this is leader class leader class and that is it for all our comparisons for now okay now before we transform them I just want to bring out my blast effects real quick to show you let's see always the thrusters are blast effect compatible that's pretty cool and they tell you to put the weapon <clears throat> right here, which doesn't really sit. <clears throat> See, there's a big gap right here. It doesn't really work when he's in jet mode, <clears throat> when he's got the landing gear down. But <clears throat> this is how <clears throat> it's supposed to be. All right, so... <clears throat> Remove the weapon, <clears throat> remove all these, and now let's transform him. <coughs> okay, so first we're going to take the little pieces right here. <clears throat> there we go. And we're just going to move these forward. <clears throat> then we're going to come back here. And we're going to disconnect the wings. There's a tab here. <clears throat> and a little notch on the leg there. And we're going to do the same on this side. <clears throat> tab, notch, and we're going to flip them over. And this is a little tricky now. <clears throat> it's easy going from this mode, but if you move the legs around a lot, the other way is going to be harder, which I'll show you at, at toward the end of the video. So, you want to take this leg, you want to bring it down, <clears throat> bring this leg down, <clears throat> twist it, okay? And then we're going to take the foot, do that as the front, and this we're going to flip around. We're going to put it up here, and there's a little tab or little slot there that's going to go in there. <clears throat> and one leg's done. So, the other leg, we're going to flip this over, pull this down, rotate it, <clears throat> pull this out, pull this out, <clears throat> do that, <clears throat> and now <clears throat> the legs are all done. Okay, now what we're going to do <clears throat> is. <clears throat> the arms. Okay, here are the arms. Oh, up. <clears throat> We're just going to pull the arms up. <clears throat> They're on a soft ratchet. They're connected, <clears throat> so we're going to disconnect them and we're going to move them out here. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> now here's where the tricky part comes. So, you want to take the body <clears throat> Oh, and before we do that, we're going to come to the back here and we're just going to split these apart, okay, and rotate these up for now. And they only go one way. Whoop. There. All right. So, now, this is on a slider. So, once we get it pulled up, we're going to rotate it to the side. That way, we can, these are on a slider. So, we're just going to fold these back. All right, see so what I did there? So we're going to take these and we're going to rope. What is going on with this little piece? There we go. So we're going to take this and I'm going to fold it back. Why does this keep flipping? All right, <clears throat> so. <clears throat> Next, we're just going to straighten the body out, and we're going to push it down, okay? Then, we're going to come back here, we're going to take the nose cone, and bend it out. <clears throat> now, they say put this down here, like this. <clears throat> and now, what we're going to do is we're going to rotate the entire chest piece. It's tabs in here, so untab it here. You just got to get these out of the way. And we're going to push this whole thing in and then move it so it goes right in there. Okay? And then what's going to happen is there's a, uh, a tab right there, a slot right there. And there's a tab on here, right here in this piece. So when we move this up, this is going to lock it in right there. Okay? And again, the other side. There is a slot right, there is a slot, so we're just going to move this up like that. <laughs> Alright, 
Yeah, let's uh, fold the arms back. Like this. And then they're on a ratchet. So let's just get the arms straight out right now. Like that. Okay? So <clears throat> we're going to come back here. Why is this not... And we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to move this up and we're going to connect these pieces right here. And they're going to snap together. <clears throat> yeah, like this. And we want this, <clears throat> this come out. What you're going to do is kind of do it over <clears throat> oh you know what let's let's just connect the wings together for right now all right and that's when we'll put the little little cockpit <clears throat> we're gonna shift it down and move it like that <clears throat> okay so now you got the wings done and these you can fold out as long as you want Okay, now we're going to take the body and make sure everything is snapped together like that. <clears throat> and the arms <clears throat> don't really snap into anything. They just fall like that in. Kind of wish they would have snapped into something, but they don't. And then you want to take the arm and just ex extend it with the elbow. And then just pull the fist out. Other arm, we'll take it. And just straighten it out and fold the fist out. All right, let's fix the. We'll snap this in like that. And the wings, these are on a joint right here, and that's on a ball joint. So you can just fix the, the shoulders however way you want them. We'll fix this guy like that. Uh, let's see. And the backpack, everything, every, everything's done on the backpack. Yep, and that's all in. Oh, whoops, this fell out. Oh, put these out. Alright, so that's in. These go in. And then these, see, they're on a slider joint. Perfect shot right there. See, they're on a slider joint, so you just want to get them however you want them over the, over the shoulders. Why isn't this snapping in? I don't understand. Oh, these must have moved. There. These got to be up to lock in. So that side's locked in again. Fix the shoulder pair. That side's locked in, and that is Dreadwing. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. <clears throat> there he is. So, uh, and he's pretty locked in. I guess on the original, they didn't have that little tab there, so now these lock it in. Uh, I mean, this doesn't really fold over as much as I would like it to be. But... <clears throat> uh, it's yours and you'll figure it out. And now he is top heavy. I've seen on other reviews too. And I wish this thing would fold a little more compact. But the way it's designed, this ain't a double. If this was a double joint, you could go around the thing. But um, still, he's, he's very top heavy. But I've seen a lot of reviewers complain about that. So there's not much we can do. But maybe they could have put another a heel, use like Galvatron. A lot of a lot of figures have a big heel in the back, but he's not bad. So there you got the front. You know, um, yeah, that's about what you're gonna get. So um, he is hollow. He's a little hollowness because that is basically. That's what you're looking at for a chest. <clears throat> you can see the nose cone, so make sure you have that, that landing gear in. 
But all in all, he's a, he's a cool leader class figure. You know, let's look at that head sculpt. Very, very nice head sculpt. Uh, it's got the gold, the orange eyes. Uh, now, it does. It should have some light piping because it's see-through there. But and the neck is on a little joint, so he can look up a lot. He can look down. He's got very good movement uh, on his face. Uh, let's see the arm. If you move this out of the way, there. you can move the arm 360 degrees. It's got a cool ratchet out. It's got a mushroom peg at the elbow, so it's got full elbow. And you can even turn the wrists around, which is pretty neat. And uh, you got more than 90 degrees over here. See, I wish there was a way to lock these in there, but not. So put that there, and then this you can just put over. And this, like I said, you can have, it's got pretty cool movement there, if you want to do it that way. Other hand, same way, you can move the arm 360 degrees. I love that ratchet. Again, you got more than 90 elbow rotation, or the upper bicep rotation, wrist rotation, and uh, let's see, how do I do it? You can pull this sideways and then make them big shoulders. They're kind of not connected to the arm, so it's a little weird. Um, let's see, foot kicks that much. <clears throat> Kicks that back. I'm surprised they don't have they have the ratchets on the arms, but not the legs. And then rotation here at the upper um, thigh, and you have more than 90 degrees with the knee. And of course, you have a little ankle tiltage side by side. That way you can get them in those superhero poses. <clears throat> now we'll get this guy all set up again. <clears throat> and this, I finally figured out how this goes in flush. If you do it with the big side on the bottom, here, we'll move him so we can see against the white screen. All right, and this will fit flush. If you push this all the way to the back, right there, and you push it down tight, look at that. It's nice and flush and even. <clears throat> and since we got this out again, we can show you this is Blast Effect compatible. <clears throat> so I'm going to put this in his hand. <clears throat> and he's got that. Now, what you can also do <clears throat> as part of the Evo Fusion is you can take this one, pull it out, and turn it around. <clears throat> you put this hand on the bottom of this hand. <clears throat> And this hand, you could turn it, let's see, let's do, all right, let's do bottom of the hand this way, all right, and bottom of the hand this way. So now you've got it where he could... <clears throat> It's like a Gatling gun. See how he's got it from here, and he's holding it from here. And now, you know, he can move the gun more. <clears throat> and that is the, the gun. You can hold it with both hands. And then we can put this back. Here. <clears throat> I wish the, like I said, I wish the waist was a ratchet. You can pop this out, <clears throat> saying this is on a, a ball joint, so you could rotate this all the way back. And this, if you push back here, there's a little notch right here. You get your little fingernail in, and you could open this up. Uh, let's see. And you can have his sword, <clears throat> and he can have his gun like that. <clears throat> and so now you have Dreadwing whoop, <clears throat> with the sword and his gun. And I guess if you want to say, yeah, see? Ah, eh, that's Blast Effect compatible. 
<clears throat> so, and that is Dreadwing in robot mode. Um, <clears throat> you know, I wasn't going to get this guy. I wasn't, obviously I wasn't going to pay $55 for him, but I did pay $24. So, wasn't bad. Now that I have him in hand. Oh, and there is a flight stand port right there. Um, he does have his, I mean, disadvantages. Like I said, he's very top heavy. He's very this way, very thin this way. Um, he's almost hollow, that area. And <clears throat> there. You just got to push down. <clears throat> there you go. But he's pretty cool. Uh, definitely a leader size compared to some of the newer ones. But <clears throat> this was during Legacy Evolution, and now we're up to Legacy United. So this figure's like a year old by now. But other than that, it's still pretty cool. <clears throat> Whoops. And then the wings, you can move these however you want them. You can even move these back and forth. Um, you can move these. So you can have them have a big backpack. Or, you know, if you're going to put them in your shelf in robot mode. Oh, this thing came undone again. If you're going to put them in your shelf in robot mode, then you might want to straighten all this up, make it a slimmer profile. <clears throat> um, you know, and he's got some 5mm ports here where he's still compatible with modulators and fossilizers and all that good stuff. Weaponizers. So, um, he's not bad. I, I remember from the, I barely remember from the cartoon, Transformers Prime. But um, I love that new Decepticon logo. So that is Dread Wing. Okay, now for some robot to robot comparisons. All right, now we're going to bring our first comparisons. We're going to bring in Prime RC, which is a deluxe. And we've got Prime Bulkhead. So there is all our Prime Universe figures. So we got a deluxe, we got a Voyager, and now we got a leader class. <clears throat> and this is Needle Nose, which we saw before when he was combined with them. And another jet. There is your Cyclonus. <clears throat> and then, to show you how different leader sizes are, here is the leader class Optimus Primal from Rise of the Beasts. Now, this guy's got... Probably just bigger parts. This guy's got a lot more uh, more smaller parts and he comes with more accessories. So this is a leader class from like a year ago and this is a leader class. Um, so you can see the comparison. This guy is much taller, but this guy's more complex. And then we've got our Snarl leader class. So this guy's really, really tall. These are true leader class, these Dinobots. So now he's taller than this guy. And then another leader class is our new leader, Sandstorm. Now he's a triple changer, so the transformation is more complex. He doesn't come with that many stuff other than, you know, like a rescue bar and two guns. But just to show you that together, all of these figures right here are leader classes. I mean, they're all different sizes, they're all different complexities, but these are all leader classes. Luckily, these guys, I didn't spend too much money on, because right now they're cheap. Alright, and that is it for our robot mode comparisons. And I like this guy, I do. Now, I always transform my figures twice. I transform them, and then I reverse transform them, because... <clears throat> One way is always harder. Now this guy you'll explain you'll see why. Because of the way the legs are. So first what we're gonna do is we're just gonna push the arm in. So we're gonna compact the arm again. <clears throat> like that. And fold in the hand. So <clears throat> we're gonna compact the arm. <clears throat> fold in the hand. <clears throat> Alright? We're going to get these out of the way, then come back here, and we want to separate this guy. <clears throat> okay? <clears throat> so, let's move the arms out of the way. 
we're going to separate this. Now we're going to turn them sideways. That way we can take these, remember on that slider right there, and we're going to slide these the so they're facing the opposite way. All right? And then we're going to come back here. Okay. So, now flip these over. This whole thing gets flipped over again and flip this one over. And we want to put these together now, like that. <clears throat> okay? So, <clears throat> now we're going to push the head back. So now we're going to get these out of the way. We're going to fold this up, and the head's got to be pushed back. So you can, <clears throat> let's see, move the arms out of the way. And we're going to get this back and lock this in. All right, so that is locked in. And then we're going to fix the nose cone. So now the nose cone's straight. So now you can see the jet taking place. Okay, <clears throat> now we'll get these out of the way. We'll do those last. Okay, so now we're going to fold the arms in. Fold the arms in, and what you do is you will get <clears throat> two tabs, two pegs. So the arms, remember on it, ratchet. So you gotta put the arms together like that. Whoops, and you know what? See, they will, we have to turn them now. You have to turn them so that this face is down. They will move around a bit. So then we'll rotate at the L, whoops. See, so yeah, there's a lot of turning. They got they only go one way. So once those are there, you gotta rotate these. You gotta make sure that they turn down. So hold this here, you might want to. And then um there we go. <clears throat> Let's get these tight. Okay. <clears throat> and these will go down. All right, <clears throat> now the feet, this is what I mean. So, <clears throat> remember, we, what we did last time was we rotated this, and then we gotta rotate like this. So now we want to basically, you wanna get it, you gotta make sure if you rotate these up, then you could turn this sideways like that it all depends on right here so these go up so let's turn it sideways oh, nope here we push it up like that and then we rotate this and we could turn this sideways all right so like I said, you just gotta make sure that you know which way they're folding up and down, okay? And then over here, you'll see the tab on the foot and then the tab on the wing. And then over here, there's a tab right there, or a slot and a tab. So we'll get the bottom one hooked up and we'll line up the top one. There, okay. So now the other side, we'll do the bottom one, and then we'll do the top one. All right. <clears throat> then you just make sure everything's nice and tight. And then these, you can just fold down here. Now I'm trying to see, do these fold in anything? I think they just fold down like that. And then you can see the little cutout right there. And make sure everything's tight together. <clears throat> Pull this wing down. You can do this wing down. You can do this wing up. This is supposed to be down. And they might not stay tabbed in. Alright, so basically now we're back to the jet mode. 
few things you got to make sure the legs you know as you're playing with them they will rotate so you got to make sure that the way they go up and down is facing like that you've got the three thrusters of here and uh, oh you know what this this one is not really a thruster it's not blast effect compatible that was strange the other two are <clears throat> so <clears throat> now we're back to jet mode um, pretty cool jet mode. You got the Septicon wings on both sides again. You got the red. So it's got blue, purple, silver, yellow, and red. So he's very colorful. And I do like this color better than the the green one, the Autobot. Can't think of his name right now. Skyquake, that's what it is. All right, and that is going to do it for this review of legacy evolution leader class dread wing might be a little year late but you know what i couldn't pass up the price keep checking those target stores and um make sure you subscribe to the channel turn on notifications so when i do new videos you'll get them right away um i have uh members now on my channel 99 cent core class or dial 99 deluxe um, I haven't had any behind the scenes videos or polls. I'm going to do that once I get more members. But if you just want to help the channel grow, 99 cents a month, even if it's one time, that'd appreciate it too. Uh, I know this guy was on sale, but generally these toys are not getting cheaper at all. They're getting smaller and they cost more. So make sure you do all that. Uh, not only do Transformers, I do like DC figures. I do Marvel, I do Lego, we do Funko Pops, I do movie reviews, new toy sightings. I've even done a Star Trek model. So I'm always looking for new stuff. And I'm going to start my CSI uh, video shortly. Uh, you, I don't get paid to YouTube yet. This ain't my real job. I work in the um, forensics business. I am a latent examiner. So, uh, more details are coming later. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I will see you guys later. Dreadwing out.